I'm in Baikonur at the world's largest spaceport, or Cosmodrome as it's called here, in the middle of the Kazakh steppe. Nowhere in the world launches as many spacecrafts as this place does. Even the Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, took off from here. There are just a few hours left until the launch. A special train brings the Soyuz spacecraft to the ramp. Security is tight. Especially, I was told, because there is a danger of espionage. And here it comes, the rocket, the launcher, at 7 o'clock in the morning. Right up until takeoff. Technicians work in the rocket and recheck everything meticulously because the actual launch is one of the most dangerous moments of the whole flight. Obviously the launch is one of the more risky phases, but it's also something the crew is really looking forward to, um, to experience these incredible forces that push uh, the humans uh, from the surface of this planet into orbit is remarkable. The G-loads, um, it's pretty quick, less than nine minutes from liftoff until you reach the weightlessness and you are traveling with almost 28,000 kilometers per hour. It's something to look forward to. On this flight, two other astronauts are on board alongside the German commander Alexander Gerst, the Russian Sergei Prokopiev and the US-American Serena A. Non-Chancellor. I have the best crew that I can imagine. Uh, with these two guys, it's, uh, it's always been a pleasure to train. We know each other really well. Our families know each other well. We spend time uh, looking at, uh, at, like, went over the weekend on trips around Moscow. And uh, that makes me completely relaxed because I know that these guys uh, are fantastic. They know their job. And uh, so I have nothing to worry about. The big moment is approaching. And then, all systems are go, everything is ready for space. Mm -hmm. 